More Advanced Warfare content is coming to MW3 in the next couple updates. We'll break down what's going on here, plus much more in this video. Be sure to drop a like in the video, subscribe if you're new, and shout out to AIM Controllers. Great quality customizable controllers over there. I use it every day. Use code MAPS for an extra discount. Links are down below. But first off here, we have this leak from Bob Network UK. We have a new lines of code here with the Season 3 Reloaded update revealing the DNA bomb from Advanced Warfare and the Reaper drone from MW3. Added to the COD HQ killstreak list here. So first up, the Reaper, a solid streak for mw3's mp i don't have that many memories with it but it's a good formidable streak to have in mw3's mp this time around but obviously the dna bomb from advanced warfare i have so many memories with i played so much awmp i played game battles back in the day so much aw grinded and dna bombs were so fun to get in normal matches in infected as well and that sound that you heard when you got a dna bomb was just so satisfying to hear and if you guys don't know actually a dna bomb was a 30 kill streak so pretty much like the nuke back in the day that was the nuke of aw a dna bomb there so this coming to mw3 is cool of course no other developer would bring it back other than sledgehammer games so i'm glad they're doing that but do they replace the nuke we have right now is this a separate streak you could get is this going to be a 25 or maybe 35 kill streak is it a different kill amount to get the dna bomb on top of the normal nuke right now we'll see very soon but if they want to replace the nuke i'm down with it because the dna bomb just fits more with a sledgehammer game i know it's not a advanced warfare style game it's not a futuristic game but i just have so many memories with this and i just want to see more advanced warfare themed content come to mw3 dna bomb is a great addition for sure so let me know down below if you're excited to see this here do you want to see other aw streaks return let me know down below and of course speaking of more aw content here we did get some aw weapons finally in season three the battle 27 just came out we got the moors as well i mean these are all really solid weapons here but we want to see more or at least i want to see more aw content at least on the bow here one of the most iconic bow variants back in the day was the bow obsidian steed from advanced warfare's multiplayer there have been plenty of rumors about the Obsidian Steed potentially being added to MW3's MP in the form of a weapon blueprint. Of course, back then, this was a weapon you could only get from supply drops, and it would actually increase the power of the weapon. The weapon was much better than the normal BAL-27. And this time around, of course, that would be pay to win. They're not going to do that, but at least give us that original, you know, look that the BAL Obsidian Steed had, and maybe some type of tracer, some AW-themed futuristic tracers as well. Have a whole Advanced Warfare Atlas-themed bundle with the Obsidian Steed as that main weapon blueprint that would be so so fire and it is very likely we do get that very soon so that would be cool to see as well alongside of that dna bomb releasing of course i wish we got the asm1 smg in the game it did get leaked out to come to mw3 but i guess it was scrapped or maybe they're delaying it for season four i'm not so sure but if you guys didn't know the asm1 and the EM1 from AW were also leaked out to come to MW3, and they're not here right now. So maybe they decided, you know what, we don't want that much AW content. Maybe they're going to spread it out between Season 3 and Season 4. Who knows for sure, but of course the ASM1 being added would be fire as well. Having the Speakeasy variant of the ASM1 back from AW in MW3 as well, that would also be super, super cool. Having that in a bundle or maybe as a free weapon blueprint reward, that would be sick as well. So do they do that? I'm not so sure, but it did get leaked out, so it could still release at some point very soon and of course finally on aw content it would be fire to see some maps return from that game no developer is ever going to bring back an advanced warfare map besides for sledgehammer and it seems like right now they could actually do it sledgehammer seems to be pretty open to community feedback different options they don't really care about the setting of mw3 right now they're bringing back all different stuff here so to have potentially solar in the game recovery two iconic maps that would be so sick you have to rework them a little bit because those were made for jetpacks so have some more stairs and ladders where you would have to jetpack before change some stuff up a little bit but bring those colorful vibrant sick maps back in mw3 would just be so insanely cool to see i mean we rarely see aw maps remade in call of duty and no other developer is going to do it besides for sledgehammer honestly so hopefully we get that very soon i'll be sure to up to you guys on that but for some more leaks here we got this pretty interesting an rgl 80 appears to be getting an aftermarket part that allows you to change the projectile fired so we have slug sticky airburst drill impact interesting stuff there we'll see how that looks very soon we have other leaks here as well an assortment of mutation items field upgrades equipment perks etc have been added to the game not sure what they're going to be used for likely in ltm so we have mutation jump mutant vision density dive sludge sling shield shadow skin gas cloud some are available as multiple things i'll ultimately be scrapped in favor for one version equip specialty super 
some modifiers, etc. So in terms of events, we are getting some type of Fallout bundle and crossover in the game. It could be related to that. I mean, that could be interesting. Maybe another iteration of the boys returning with these mutations. That seems kind of likely there. A zombies event as well. That could be cool. Who knows for sure, but still interesting stuff coming to MW3. And for another leak here regarding a new event in the game, it could be related to the one we just talked about, but it's called a jailbreak here. Jailbreak in, traveling to the gulag. So I guess Warzone related, right? Pick up teammate. Holding body, tap to drop. Defibrillator is charging a teammate dead in X amount of minutes. Drop the body near the ambulance. Take defibrillator. So I don't know what this is about here. We're going to have an ambulance on Warzone. Is this a rebirth Easter egg? A new LTM for MP as well. And there's a Gulag in MP. Who knows for sure, but a lot of upcoming events coming to MW3, which is still cool to see. I mean, I, they're doing a lot of weekly, bi-weekly events, LTMs in this game, a lot more than I thought they would do. And I guess they're going to keep that up throughout the rest of this game's life cycle, which again is fire. I'm excited for, you know, the next Black Ops game, whatever it's called there, but to still have some consistent content and stuff going on for each new update in MW3 MP is still great to see. I really enjoy this game and to get more stuff throughout the rest of the year, I'll gladly take here. So let me know down below any other ideas you guys have for future events in this game, other crossovers as well, and much more. Let me know down below. And for some store updates here in MW3, we have Celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Call of Duty Celebrate Cinco de Mayo with our community. Urban culture mixes with celebration to bring you a free gift with low rider, large decal, and a dance bloom sticker. So we'll go to the store here and claim that for free. I don't know how long this is going to be available for. It could just be today so be sure to get that if you do want it i guess it's pretty solid why not and in the store as well we have a couple new bundles already out here for season three reloaded the first one is the cataclysm pack with opera skin for doc here pretty interesting art style in this game let me know down below your opinions on this one here a striker nine blueprint here dystopia solid look we have a weapon charm iron long a calling card vroom large decal emblem and a weapon sticker so uh 1800 cop point bundle there not too bad we have the l chupacabra bundle uh with an operator skin for valeria this one's actually kind of cool here a holger 26 blueprint pretty cool look hrm blueprint as well weapon charm large decal a sticker and some double weapon xp another 1800 cop point there okay no traces on that again and we also have that wishlist feature here finally in the game so i just add that to my wishlist interesting and we also have the bronze age new weapon bundle here with an operator skin for byline uh we have the of course new weapon battle 27 so if you don't want to you know unlock it through the sector in the battle pass you could just buy this bundle and unlock it instantly although it's super simple to do the battle pass sector or if you want to unlock it easily as well if you guys don't know go to zombies just like dmz have a friend give you the battle 27 and you exfil with the bow that will unlock it for you instantly and forever so another easy method there you're getting a kvd enforcer blueprint as well a large decal weapon sticker and a charm here so Decent bundles overall. The Chichin Chong bundle still there as well. Uh, here's actually the new tab, the wish listed bundles here. That's pretty interesting. So if I remove this, I guess it's not going to be. Um, well, maybe it's going to update. Let's see here. No wish list tab here. And if I do another wish list here, the tab should pop up somewhere. So it's a little buggy actually. I want it to pop up instantly. If I back out and then go back in, then there's the wish listed bundle section. So, you know, you'll have your wish listed bundles here. I guess that's a cool feature. Let me know down by your opinions on that. But overall, it's here for this video. Be sure to subscribe for more COD update videos like this. Shout out to the channel members as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace out, guys.